I've been playing some decent golf lately. We're at the beautiful Leamington and County Golf Course. I'm about to whip it up. Come on, the boys. We are breaking 40 today because it's winter placings. You know the chill is in the air. It's that time of the year now. If I find the fairway, I can place it wherever I want. I've been playing some decent golf lately. We're at the beautiful Leamington and County Golf Course. I'm about to whip it up. Come on, boys. Not bad. We'll take that. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let go. Okay, so the first hole here at Leamington is a par five. So I've still got 200 and about 255 yards to the pin. So second shot of the day, I am using my mini burner off the deck. It's, um, this could go very wrong straight away. Um, but you know what? We're optimists is what we are. So we're going to go for it, okay? How far in, Ben? 255 to the pin I've got on my Garmin. Driver off the deck on the first hole. <laughs> high, yeah? Yes. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Driver off the deck. Ah, well. What's the worst that can happen, lads? Oh. I think... Do you know what? I've got a wave with one like you wouldn't believe. It's held, there's like a ditch up there and I could see it scuttling towards it, but I think it's just stayed short. So it's just a sensible layup really. That's all we were doing anyway. Right, Jamie, what do you think to that shot choice? Second shot of the day, 255 yards into the pin, driver off deck, good choice? I don't, I don't think it was fast. <laughs> I think you should have gone for an iron straight layup like you nearly at the other hole, look. What, like a little safety iron? Yeah, yeah. A safety iron. Nah, do you know what it was, right? It was all a tactical play. I knew I weren't going to hit it great. I knew it was going to be a layup. We've got a nice little 70, 80 yards now into the pin. Sweet as a nut. We're going to make birdie on the first hole. Doddle. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Told you, nice little tactical layup. We've got 60 yards to the pin. Sweet as a nut. 60 yards to the pin. I've got my 56 out. It's just a nice steady 56. Nothing, nothing more than that. That basically. Right. Sit. Steady. If that was online, that was absolute pin high money. I'll take it though, we're putting for birdie on the first. Come on. I think I can make that jump. Go on then. Oh, oh well. <laughs> so, we've got about a 12 footer for birdie on the first hole. The greens are a little bit woolly, so we're going to have to give this a bit. Ooh. It's a steady tapping par, though. It's a steady tapping par. Bosh! Right, part to start of the day. You know how I know it's going to be a good day today because one of my favourite YouTubers, somebody I watch all the time, Beard Meets Food, I saw him this morning at my local Starbucks. I was in the drive-thru, right? Mad story. I was in the drive-thru getting my egg bites, getting my blonde roast flat white with oat milk standard. Um, I look through the window. Beard is standing there ordering some food. He clocks me, I clock him. He looks and goes, Love your YouTube channel. I'm like, I love your YouTube channel. I love it, honestly. Beard meets food, you're the boy. He took a picture of me holding all my egg bites as well. So it's going to be a good day. I know it. Okay, second hole, short par four. It's only 330 yards. Sensible would be to get an iron, but you know what? I'm feeling the dryer today. So if I can get this right up there, 
We're cooking, baby. Go on then. No better feeling than golf, that. In the immortal words of my Lord and Saviour, DJ Khaled. Straight down the middle. Come on. Straight down the middle, baby. What? Right, okay, so very similar to the first hole. Um, I got about 60 yards in, so I'm getting that 56 again. It was money last time. A nice little steady 56 it is. See if I can get it a bit more online this time. What a drive though, by the way. Come on, seriously. Absolute money. Come on, sit. Sit down. I like it. I like it. We're putting for birdie again, you know. It's a good start. I told you. Beard meets food. You see him in the morning. It's going to be a good day. Right, we are birdie putting, baby. Let's knock it close. Come on. Oh, you little git. I tell you what, there's a little bit of meat left on that bone as well, you know. There is a little bit of naughty meat left on this bone. Come on then, nice and confident. Nice and confident. Come on then, here we go. I've got to say, right, I had a putting lesson a couple of weeks ago. Um, Fred Dewsbury at Stratford Golf Sim, by the way, world class, thank you so much. Um, but he's just sort of, he didn't revolutionise anything, but just showing me the basics, basically, and I'm not even joking, I just used to hit it out the toe all the time, every time, basically. And I've got it coming out the middle, my swing's a little bit more smoother. I feel like so much more confident with a putter, because my putting has been horrific as well. Right, third hole, we are level par so far, another short par four. Again, the sensible play would be an iron, just get it up there, 200 yards or whatever. But we don't live in a sensible world. We got the big boy out, driver feels good, we're gonna rip it up there, simple as that. Come on. Ripped it an absolute mile again. Tell you what. I am hitting this well. I hope that hasn't gone in the bunker, you know. There's a bunker in front of the green. I, I saw it rolling towards it. I think it might have just stopped short, but it's another lovely strike. Oh, we're feeling good today. We're going low today, I can feel it. Oof. Okay, um, quick little current handicap status update. Uh, I'm playing off 10.4 at this moment in time. Um, it's going all right at the minute, it's going all right. I've had a bad patch about, about a month ago, I had a bad patch where I was brutal. Genuinely, my driver was going there, there. I was snap hooking stuff, it was horrible. Um, but I've had another lesson. I feel like I know what I'm doing a bit better now. Um, over the winter, I want to get it low again, I do. I want to get it low again, I want to get single figures. Um, we've got some awesome golf trips planned, um, hopefully to America, hopefully to Portugal. Um, let's get low this year, baby, come on, let's get low. Do it properly. Right, banging drive. Um, just before I hit this shot though, I just want to do a little outfit check, all right? Because I feel like lately people have been absolutely giving me pouters about short shorts, about too tight trousers, sort of like trousers up my ankles. So I'm trying to look a bit more like a traditional golfer today, yeah? So I've got proper golf trousers on, you can see. A little bit of bagginess, a little bit of forgive. Um, lovely little Jordan top. It's a nice little outfit, isn't it? Come on. Lovely. Get in the comments, everybody. Is this what you want to see from me? until the sun comes out, or we go on holiday and I'm getting the short shorts back, I don't care. Right, come on, I've got, um, I think I've got about 45 yards, yeah, banging drive, like I said, 45 yards, pins at the front, um, so I've got my 60 degree wedge, I just need to get this up and down on that green very quickly, come on. Oh, that's <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. I sculled it, I sculled it. I sculled it badly. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't... You know what I've got to do? Is just commit to it and push it up almost. You might have got away with it. I think it might be on the green still, but it's going to be right at the back of the green. Ugh, bad shot. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. All right, so it was a bad shot. We've got... It's 30 foot. Have a look at this. It's a good 30 foot putt. Um, the green is fully sort of like right to... The green's like that, so I'm going to have to start this up there. If I can get this in two... 
Down in two, this is lovely jubbly, come on. Go on, go, 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 go. Ay, that's a tough putt. Tough putt for par, that. Right, 10 foot for, 10 foot for par, wow. Um, not the greatest of putts, but come on. Turn, it did not turn, not one little bit ski. Oh, it's a bogey, it's a bogey. It's a disappointing bogey as well, but, do you know what? It is not the end of the world. After that drive, you know, oh, that's what I mean. After that drive, I've got like 45 yards left and I took four shots from 45 yards. Never mind, never mind. Right, time for a bit of bounce back ability. Fourth hole, 420 yards. Um, we've got trees in front of us, but Tiger Line can go straight over them bad boys. So that is what we are going to do, okay? There it is. Oh, it's a dream drive. This driver is absolutely popping today, by the way. That is absolutely popping. Do you know what, Ray? Do you know what? I played, I played with Matty Godden up at Stratford, up on Avon Golf Course the other week, and he basically said to me, he said, he said, what you need to do is make sure your feet are exactly in line with where you want it to go and your shoulders. And I'd never thought about it before, right? And in the last two weeks, I've just been focusing on that and I swear it's changed my driving massively. That was just, oh. Cheers, Matty Godden. Cheers, Matty Godden. for me, really, should keep them clean. Sorry. Okay, fourth hole, second shot. We have got 140 yards. Um, it was a banging drive, by the way. 275 yards drive, nine iron, I'm thinking. A nice nine iron. I'll tell you what, last hole shows how important your short game is, doesn't it? I'm 40 yards from the pin and I end up taking four shots from 40 yards. All right, come on, let's get this one close and bounce back, baby. Go on then, it's drawing back round, isn't it? Oh, a little bit short. It was a lovely strike though, wasn't it? Did you see it? I had a little bit of draw on that, you know. Keep those shoulders square. Feet pointed towards the target. Yeah, like that. Let's go golfing. Do you know what, Mike? Because it's like getting a bit wetter now. The greens, like, you gotta, you gotta basically hit the club that's gonna carry that far now. There's no more bouncing forward, is there? Once it hits the green, it's stopping dead pretty much. So probably learn that for the rest of the round, actually. Just take maybe a club more. Uh, right, come on, we've got a 20 footer for, for a nice little bird. This would be lovely, this one. You're one over. One over. 20 footer, slightly up the hill. Left to rightish at the end. Yeah, steady putt. Steady putt, we'll take it. It's a tapping par. We don't complain. Tap in par ski. It's just good, sensible soccer. Simple as that. Come on. Right, so just about to start the fifth hole, I'm one over par. If I can keep this going, keep that driver zinging down the middle, we've got a chance today. If I can get, if I can finish two over par, three over par even, I'm buzzing, all right, come on. Wow, we've got a dog leg left. We've got a dog leg left. I don't like dog leg lefts. Right, look at this, we're gonna be sensible now. I know I've been saying about my driver and loving it and stuff, but we are gonna hit a four iron. What I'm gonna do as well, I'll even tell you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go low little stinger. You can see there's like the black and white marker up there. Aim for that. It's only a short par four, this is 340 yards. Yeah, 330 yards. Get this up there. Should only have another 150 odd yards to go. Right, come on then.
That's exactly what I said I was going to do. That's nice, isn't it? It was a bit toey, don't get me wrong. It was a bit off the, uh, off the toe, but I swear, that's 200 yards down there, straight down the middle. We are playing sensible golf today. Right, I've got an unpopular opinion for you lot. Um, actually, maybe it's a popular opinion, but football talk, all right? Football talk. I think genuinely what we need to do, everything in the news at the minute is about VAR and decisions and making the wrong ones and it's corrupt and all this. Why don't we genuinely ask every single footballer, every single footballer that has to be subjected to the VAR in game, all the Premier League players, for example, ask them quite literally ask them to their face, not just behind the scenes, not like get them there and keep it a secret, ask them to their face on camera whether we should get rid of it or not. Yes or no, and we stick with it. But I guarantee you, if we were to do this, the majority of players will say, get rid, get rid. Everybody hates it. Everybody hates how long it takes. It's just, every I think I feel the same as everybody else. Let's just get rid, yeah? Shambles. Good drive. Good four iron, Fozzie, good four iron. Right, this is a lovely approach. Garmin says I've got 130 yards. It's a bit downhill, so I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. Um, but this shot, in general, this hole, like I predicted 200 yards, which is 198 yards I've hit it with my four iron, with 150 odd yards. We're cooking, baby. We are cooking. Come on, get this one a bit closer now. Let's get it a bit closer. I want to be a realistic birdie putt today. Come back a bit. It's a nice shot. We're happy with that. It's um, it's about a 15 footer for birdie, but it was a nice strike, wasn't it? Mm. I'm glad I didn't take a nine iron, by the way, because that's right at the back of the green. Look at this. I can half take a div at me, by the way. Look at this bad boy. Sorry, greenkeeper. Right, look. See, this is what I mean about the ball just stopping dead. So this is my... Uh, where it's landed you know what it's not a bad shot that i've got it's a 12 15 footer it's a possible birdie putt um but it's downhill it's left to right come on come on let's sink one let's get a bit of magic a bit of birdie sauce as rick shields would say a little bit of birdie sauce would be lovely right come on then lefty righty not crazy It's a bad putt that is, you know. I didn't like that putt. I didn't like it. And there's some meat on that bone. <laughs> I hate meat on bones. I hate it. Right, outside right edge. Nice and firm. Walk away with the putt. Yep, buzzing. Take that. Honestly, about, about three months ago, I would have missed that. I would have dribbled that inside and I would have been three putting from 15 foot. Walk away with a steady pass. Good golf, this. Because of the putting lesson I had, I've, I've obviously marked the ball where she should probably be doing anyway. But it leaves, because it's permanent marker, it leaves like a mark on my driver face, look. And that's not bad little group in that, is it? That's all right, I'll take that all day long. There's one up there that's a bit rogue, but that's pretty nice, that. I'm buzzing. All right, come on then, another one. Another one. Let's just go straight down the middle one more time, baby. Oh, I just pulled it left a bit, haven't I? Just pulled it left a bit. I think it's absolutely fine. It's just up, it's just up the sort of left side up there. Um, it's whether I'm behind the trees or not. It felt like a nice strike though, you know. Just sort of mm, pulled it a bit. Never mind. It'll do. It'll do. Long par four this, by the way. 400 and, 440 yards. Let's go. Uh, right, quickly, we've, uh, we've got to hit some because we're on the other fairway. We flicked off the tree. We're just in front of the green, actually, on another hole. Um, this is going to be a tough shot, this, you know. We've got, I've got 100 and, uh, 195 to the centre, so I'm going to hit a five iron, and hopefully try and miss those trees as well. All right, come on then. I'll tell you what, if it didn't hit the tree, oh, 
So it went straight in the trees. Come on, quickly, let's go. I tell you what, that was a hell of a strike as well. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, Jay. Um, am I allowed to do anything with them mushrooms, by the way? I can just hit them, can't I? <laughs> Surely. Right, anyway, um, no, we can just... Well, we've hit them now anyway. <laughs> right, so um, we've got about 130 yards. We've got a lie at least and we can get to the green. Um, a bit unlucky on that one, you know. There's a nice five line, just a bit too low. Caught the trees, we're in the trees. Come on, let's get it on the green. That's a lovely strike, you know. Oh, we're cooking. Yeah, not bad. I'll take that. It's a lovely strike. We're on the green. It's going to be a it's going to be a big long par putt, but we're on the green. Nice strike, nine nine. A uh, quick one, everybody. How good was the Ryder Cup, by the way? Um, my standout favourites from the Ryder Cup: Johnny Rahm, obviously the boy. Um, Max Homer, what a player! Absolutely love him, even though he's American. And Tyrrell Hatton, our boy Tizzy. I'd like to think that. Us winning the Wentworth Pro-Am and him coming second probably set him up for the Ryder Cup. I think it's, I can take a little bit of, uh... well done Terrell. Um, right, we thought we were on the green. I think it's kind of just ran out. Um, we are right at the back of the green. So we have got a good, oh, it's like a 30 foot chip. So I'm going to chip it, try and get this close. Um, Put is just going to have to wait there for a minute or five. Right, come on, let's get this close. A little bit more, you know, if I could have, a little bit more, it's the right line. Um, God, that's going to be a tough, tough putt for a bogey, that. Wow. God, I'm getting punished here. I'm playing some nice golf as well. Right, I think this is right down the middle, you know. Go on, go on, get there, get there, get there. It's a disappointing six. Oh, Fozzy! Never mind. I don't think you can go leaving um, six foot putts short, can you? Okay, seventh hole, par five. Bear in mind, the front nine here is a par 38. We're three over par as it stands. We are not gonna be breaking 40, but we have got two par fives to come. So we've got par five now, par three, par five. We can get a birdie and two pars. We are cooking. This one needs to get absolutely zinged down the middle. Come on. We've got a pond on the left though. Just missed the pond and we're cooking, all right? I drew it as well. Go on. Push back to the left a little bit. I am happy with that. I feel like I've got a shot in from there as well. I'm happy with that. Just down the right, but I'm happy with that. Lovely jubbly. Come on. Right, do you know what? I know we're a little bit in the rough and there's trees in front, but we have a shot. We have 190 to the pin. Wind is behind as well. So I feel like I could hit probably maybe even a seven iron, you know. Maybe even a seven iron with this wind behind me. If we can get this on the green here, we're eagle putting, you know. Seven iron. Seven iron, that's what I'm talking about. Who do you think I am, mate? I'm a big dog, something simple like that. What? I don't even know what I'm saying now. <laughs> I don't know, is seven iron being a bit big dog? Yeah. I don't know, it's 182 to the front though, and we've got the wind. It's not that much wind. I know, but I want to get it up over the trees. You are the big dog. I am the big dog, Jamie. You've made my mind up. He's made my mind up. Seven iron, give me some of that. See, this is what you need, a hype man, gas man, Jamie. Seven iron, baby. I believe in me. Do you know what? We'll prove all them naysayers wrong is what we'll do. All them naysayers will after this go. It was a seven iron, Ben. I'll tell you why, it's a lovely strike. If that goes, that is right on it, by the way. It was definitely a six iron. <laughs> um, 
It might have even been a five iron, you know. <laughs> I tell you what, it's a hell of a strike. We're dead on line, but it's about it's about 20 yards short. <laughs> Jamie, you fired. These new, do you know what? These new tailor-made um, milled grind four wedges, like proper, properly make it sort of like grip and stick. Look at that, Foscast, BF. Sam Day at TaylorMade, you're my boy, by the way. The Hooked me up with these, look, they're lovely. They're like, can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. It's like got cross hatch sections and all sorts. Right, anyway, let's talk in. Come on, let's get this close and get in for a birdie, right? I need to get this fairly close because it will stop quick. Stop quick, stop quick. I tell you what, I nearly landed it in the hole, you know. Did that hit the pin then? I think it did. That was, right, anyway. That is world class, we got a birdie. That's a tapping birdie as well. I told you it was stock quick. It's almost like I commentated what I'm gonna do. Baller. Right, look at this. Look, we're tapping in for a birdie. And do you know what? Sometimes when you're so confident, you're so happy that you've made the birdie, you just got a no looker. Hmm. That's an infant god. <laughs> Actually, two over par is 40, isn't it? So I'd have to go one over par to break 40. Sod it, I don't care. If we get 40 today, if we hit 40 today, we're cooking, all right? Good birdie, that. Good birdie, that. Right, crew shot challenge, par three. Lukey boy, you've got your 9-9. Nine -nine. It's, um, it's 140 yards, but we've got the wind, all right? Yeah. So give it your best shot. Once again, quickly, Luke, what's your handicap? Uh, probably about 32 now, I reckon. 32? Yeah, I reckon it's come down a little bit. Right, do you fancy hitting the green? Absolutely. Come on, them. It's a decent strike. It's, it's going to be short to the left, but it's a decent strike, mate. I don't even think it was short. You'll take that. You'll take that. Jiminy, your turn, baby. Right, Jamie, current handicap? Um, it's about 486. Yep. But, you know, are we hitting the green? Um, probably not. No, probably not. But we'll give it a go. We will, mate. We will. Oh, no. Back to the old way. Um, Never we, mind, mate. We put a shot chaser on that, but... No, don't put a shot chaser on that. Right, come on, then. We need a par. We need a par, baby. Stop. Steady. Tell you what, that wind is, it's a bit stronger than a four. I've just hit a pitch in my journey. It's gone off the back of the green, 150 yards as well. It's okay, we'll get up and down from there. We'll get up and down, it's fine. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, I've lost Ben's ball into the, into the bushes, so I'm gonna have to take it out of my wages. <laughs> back to the range for you. Back to the range, get practice in, and uh, hopefully next time we'll uh, get it on the green, you know what I mean? <laughs> Right, okay, so um, it wasn't actually off the back. It was probably the right club. It was probably bang on. Um, we're just at the side of the green. I've got to get this, I've got to get this very close. I've got to get this very close. Um, can somebody get in the comments as well? Can, so this is a shot I, I think I struggle with a little bit, to be honest with you. I've got my pitching wedge, and I'm just going to sort of dribble it down there. But just let me know what you think I probably should be taking. Um, I don't know, I'll just go safety pitching wedge. I've always used my pitching wedge in this sort of situation, do you know what I mean? Let's see how it goes. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, not fantastic. We can get that though, it's fine, come on. Step up, drain it, do not leave it short. Get in, get in, get in, you little beauty. Good par, really good par, happy with that. Let me know about that pitching wedge. What should I be using now? I don't like that. Okay, ninth hole, about to tee off. It's a par five, short par five, 445 yards, 450 yards, something like that. Um, we are two over par, and that includes a double bogey, a dirty double bogey, so I can't be too disappointed with the way I play today. Really enjoyed this course, it's been fantastic. If we can finish with a birdie today, one over par, that officially breaks 40. Either way, we've had a lovely time. This driver is going 350, easy. Right, this hole is a bit of a bugger. It's 
it's genuinely all about getting your drive away. So trees down the left, if I can almost, I'm gonna to aim towards the edge of those trees on the right hand side. And see if I can just draw it round a little bit. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I've done it as well. I have absolutely done it. I've absolutely done it as well. I'm actually drawing stuff. I'm actually drawing stuff off with my driver. Who would have ever thought it? <laughs> Come on, the boys. In fact, sod birdie, we're going for eagle this hole. We're going for eagle, baby. Right, I swear, if you'd have said to me, even a month ago, that I could start drawing the ball with my driver, I'd have laughed. I'd have laughed you out of the golf course, I promise you, because my driving has been so wild. But, just changing a few things, having a couple of lessons to show you what you're doing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was quite literally what I said I wanted to do as well. Aim down the right, try and draw it around a little bit. Money, baby, we are going to be getting this on the green, stinking it down for an eagle. If we get an eagle, by the way, level power for the front nine. Heavy score, come on, boys. Right, it's a money drive, 285 down the middle. Uh, we've got 155 left in. The wind's kind of a bit funky, and it's down and uphill. Long's okay. Do not leave it short, though. Short is dead. Jamie, what iron do you reckon I need here? My caddy right there by the way that is my caddy right come on get this on the green oh, i think i'll put it in the bunker i think i'll put it in the bunker no oh my god i tell you what i've absolutely clubbed that eight iron then it's nearly gone in the bushes at the back that's going to be a tough little chip down that is right come on it's a par five it's fine it's absolutely fine it's fine it's fine Right, come on, let's stick this one close. Um, it kind of all just runs away from me, so I'm thinking maybe just about a metre onto the green. What are you saying, about a metre on the green? 60 degree I've got. I've got a couple, but... A couple metres? Yeah. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it was probably a metre, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I liked it though. For a second, I thought it might have gone in. Um, we've got that for a birdie and to break 40. Oh my gosh. Has it come to this? Oh, oh. Name the band. Name the band. Original pirate material. You're listening to the street. Oh, come on. Put down your aerials. Right, come on. Then here we go. For a birdie, for a break 40, for a 39 to go one over par for the for the round, for the nine holes. Come on then, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's horrible, isn't it? Oh, golly, golly, gosh. Do you know what it just shows is the importance of putting, genuinely. I've gone, I think I've gone two put pretty much on every single hole. And that's, so, so if I've taken 18 putts today, so if I go around in a 30, 30 40, I've gone around in 40, Nearly half of my round are putts. Oh, gosh. Never mind. We'll take it, though. We will take it. We came to break 40. We hit 40 on the money, so we can't complain. It's not too bad. Um, positives from today, my driving. Oh, my gosh, my driving today. Dream driving today. Absolutely buzzing. Um, and just being out on the golf course. Simple as that. We love it, don't we? Fresh air, nice little walk. I'll see you soon. Break 40. I'm taking it though. I can't say the break for you. I'm taking it, all right?